questions and comments. The Honourable Member for Courtney Alberni. The member for, for sharing his, uh, his views on this, uh, this bill. Uh, Mr. Speaker, and Courtney Alberni, uh, just in the last uh, few years, we, we have seen flooding in our community. We've seen the, the, the banks of the Somas River and the Puntledge River break. We've seen drought. Our, Mount Aerosmith, we, we, our snowpack was gone by June in 2015. We'd never seen that before. Our salmon couldn't even make it upstream, and, and it rained just in time for our salmon run. Infrastructure has been uh, stressed in all of our municipalities from drought, from flooding. We've seen Humboldt squid from California show up on our coastal beaches in Tofino. This is never seen before. Acidification in Bain Sound, forest fires. It's an urgent situation we're facing. Uh, the, the National Roundtable on the Environment and the Economy forecasts it will be between, cost us between $21 billion and $43 billion a year by 2050, the impacts of climate change. I'm asking the member if he can maybe answer, wouldn't it be fiscally responsible to not shoulder the tax burden to future generations, but to mitigate that right now and invest in tackling climate change in an urgent manner like other countries, like Sweden maybe, has taken that approach? The Honourable Member for